Hey guys, what's going on? Matthew or MP Brick Studios here, back with another Lego Ninjago video here on the channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at set number 70727, the X1 Ninja Charger. The set came out in 2014, had 426 pieces, cost $40, and had three minifigures. But with that, let's get on to the review. So starting off at the front of the car here, we have two very large Technic pieces with these flame stickers on them. We got some headlights and some grills. Looks pretty good, a little bit of blue showing, but that's all right. I think the wheels look really good. I like how they're integrated into these large kind of arches there. And then I'm not even sure what these are supposed to be, like mirrors or something. I I don't remember this set having mirrors, but yeah. Um, those are cool. I like the, golden, the gold detailing all over this set, and it's great. Love the shaping on the side here, how it gets smaller and then goes larger. And it even matches up with the slopes here. So that's great. On the inside, we have a little control panel for Kai and a spot to sit. He can sit just like this. He sits on four studs though. So if you're not careful, the legs will come off like that. So you kind of got to wedge him out like that. And then he'll come out perfectly fine. Uh, then we got some grill pieces here and going back. Then here, once we get to this part, you have, it kind of gets a little messy, but these can flip out and they become flick fire missiles. So when they're about right here at a point, they actually hit the wheel. So that one didn't, but I like to shoot them from here because they just don't and they shoot more out in front of the car instead of like to the side. But if you have them too far down, They'll just hit the wheel like that. Not sure if you saw that. But I think it's really cool that it has just a bunch of weapons on it. Cool there. That's how it looks. It does get a little messy back here. So I kind of just keep them folded up like that. That's my ideal display. Then here we have the engine with a little sticker there. Not little actually. It's pretty big. Um, and then this can actually lift up like this. And turn. And... It can be articulated really well. If you remember in the show, it he actually, like when he was driving by, he shot the mountain so that the Nindroids couldn't get through. So I think that's a really cool detail and you can get it in the exact same angle. But again, it leaves it really messy. If you pull out all of these weapons, the back of the car doesn't really look that good. So this is kind of just how I'm going to display it. I mean, it's not really meant to be displayed with the weapons that's kind of for fun so i'm perfectly fine with that but coming back we have some golden blades and some nice red slopes and then we have these large black wings like the fender i think and then three boosters we have two in red and a very large one with this very nice parts usage i really like it it is the basketball goal or hoop uh, like the net part turned into gunmetal gray which is awesome but let me show you the main feature of this set which i think is amazing so coming back up here we have the stickers here that are like arrows and it tells you to push on this and when you do the hood flips up i'm sure all of you know this already i really don't have to explain it and there's a bike inside and when we come to the back, we see this engine here, and when you push on it, there goes the bike. And honestly, I think this one is possibly better than the Legacy one. The Legacy one may be, like, the bike is better because it doesn't fall apart. This one, th that's the only problem I have with this set. If you're, when you're putting it in... If you're not on a flat surface going like this and just straight in, if you're like, you have to pick it up and then put it in like this or whatever, it will fall apart. Like, watch this. I'm going to try and put it in like this. Just holding it from the front, it will fall apart. Look. 
it just did that. So that's, that's somewhat of a problem. I just usually find a hard surface and just roll it in there like this and it will go in perfectly fine and it won't be broken. So we can just shoot that out and see that it's not broken. So that's how that works. And honestly, I really like this one over the legacy one just because of pushing it is so fun. This is such a satisfying push. Let me show you like this. It is so awesome because it's like you're pushing the pin out with an axle and it feels so great. So I, I definitely like how the function feels. The other one feels kind of light, if you know what I mean. It's like done with springs and stuff and it's just not as satisfying to push. So there's the main build and honestly, I really like it. So let's move on to the side build. So here's one of the side builds. We have the little Nindroid drone here. It's not much. It's got cat hair on it, not included. Um, but it's got like a little gun down here, eyes and like flyers. So you can twist these and turn them to make it look like it's flying through the air. So there it is. But put that one to the side. And we have this one that one of the Nindroids rides. We've got the Nindroid symbol on the back and two blades here. And then these two blades that I have modified this just slightly. I would recommend this if you're about to get this set or if you already own it. It originally came with the super loose pins, but I replaced it with the stiff one so that these couldn't turn and just get all out of whack because I want them exactly how they look good. So there are those, and then it's got just some thrust on the bottom and some spots for them to control it. So there's that, I think it looks really good. And with that, I think we can get on to the minifigures. So here's the first side build in the set. We have this little spinning uh, Nindroid kind of buggy thing. It's, it's like a flyer really. So this saw can spin and I guess that makes it supposed to look like it's flying. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's got trans red studs on the bottom in between these plates and the saw. So that kind of helps the saw not really move much, you know, not wiggle really much. And then it's got uh, the purple, gray, and black design with a little bit of trans red on the back. Got the nice sloped front with some handlebars. And then you've got the little size is I guess weapons or really to hold the guy in and then on the back you got some thrusters not all too much but I think it's really nice a nice opposition and then throwing a minifigure on it we can take this ninjroid and he can seat right there you can seat him in and he can even hold his weapon at the same time and there he goes he is flying it. So honestly, I, I think this looks like exactly like what it is in the show. So I think that's great. Great for, for accuracy and everything. I would love to make some more of these. And it definitely flushes out more of the Nindroid army. But with that, let's get on to the next side build. Here are the first two minifigures included in this set. We have Rebooted Kai and we have a Nindroid Drone. Now, this is what his weapon is. I'm just going to remove it for now. There it is. And then looking at Kai, pretty much my big problem with these is they don't have leg printing. I'm sure you've heard that before, but they don't. It's not great. But it was amazing that we got the Kai hairpiece. So that was great to get. Overall, I do like the torso design. I just wish it had leg printing to go with it. It would have been awesome if we had flames going down his legs or whatever that would have looked amazing and then he's got his symbol on the back i'm not going too much into detail these guys i'm sure you've seen them before you can judge them on your own and then we have a nindroid drone here he's got the nindroid mask which is great to get and he's got this more covered up torso honestly this isn't my favorite torso i like the other one better but this one is here as well and he's got the Nindroid uh, symbol on his back. 
all in all, two pretty good f figures, especially for the time they were great, but I mean, Kai was missing leg printing. This guy was missing leg printing too, but other Nindroids had it, so that was kind of able to let go. So, but let's get on to the next minifigure. Here's the last minifigure in this set. We have another Nindroid, not sure exactly what it is. I think it's a Nindroid warrior, but you can see here he is holding Kai's Technoblade, so maybe he stole it from him or something. This is the always the same mold on each of them, which was kind of boring, but you got one of them in this set, you got Kai's, and there it is. But then looking closer at the Nindroid Warrior, he has a silver arm and a black arm. And this is the torso that I like a lot more, and you even get leg printing with it, which looks amazing. And then looking closer, he has a face a lot like the last one, but slightly different. Wait, no, that is the same face. Never mind. That that's the same face, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, but then looking inwards, you've got like a little power spot or something maybe and then just more mechanical details turning him around he's got the nindroid symbol covered up a little bit and more mechanical details but yeah i think i think it's time to sum up my thoughts on this set but with that we have summed up our look at the x1 ninja charger and personally i think for 2014 this is an amazing set for everything you got with it, you got a lot of play and everything. You got so much you could do with this, which was amazing in my opinion. So, I personally think this was a great deal for $40 back in 2014. But let me know what you think down below in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!